Resale value is what your home will possibly, maybe, hopefully sell for in the future, AKA the crystal ball number. So what are the main things that affect resale value? Number one is the most obvious. Materially improving the home is gonna help its resale value. These include upgrades, cosmetic upgrades, renovations, anything you can do to make the home better than it was when you bought it. Number two is storage. People have a lot of stuff and they wanna hide their stuff. Whether the storage is in the basement, whether it's in the bedroom, doesn't matter, they just wanna have closets, storage, cupboards, anything they can find. When they look at a home and they feel like there's not enough room to hide their belongings, they don't wanna buy it. If you buy a house in great condition and then you beat the hell out of it, it's not gonna sell for as much. So don't let your kids draw on the walls, don't let your dogs chew on everything. You gotta keep making improvements over time to keep the condition as good as possible so you sell it like that. And don't smoke in the house. Next is location. When you're looking for a home, try to buy one in a good location. And if you're gonna buy in a secondary location, look for a place that's up and coming, that has real estate values that are rising so that you're not putting a bunch of money into an asset that you're not gonna be able to get out. And then there's outdoor space. In New York City, there's only so much outdoor space to go around. If you buy an apartment with even a balcony, a little terrace, anything, that's gonna hold that extra bit of value when you go to resell it. And remember with resale, there's a difference between unique and quirky bad, never gonna be able to sell it. Unique is like pre-war architecture and details. And then there's bad, like doors that go to nowhere, black toilets, dark rooms, no sunlight. Think about all these things when you're gonna make that investment and think about that resale value.